nephew. I'd let him rot in that town. Think about it. Lord Sakai becoming deeper. Is it?
Sakai. We must deal with Tomoe's threat against Yoshi Springs before it's too late. I don't understand a fixation on the town. I was born there. Destroying it proves her worth to the Mongols. And humiliates me. But the terrain works in our favor. Two skilled archers can hold off hundreds. Or... We allow the Mongols to take it. Tomoe wins a victory and lets her guard down. Then we strike. Sacrifice Hiyoshi Springs for Tomoe. The sacrifice is worth it! Tomoe would agree, Sensei. Fine, Sakai. But you will attack from the north. We should focus our efforts there. Scout elevated positions, place arrows, and... Listen! Did you hear that? One arrow, one death. I wondered when Tomoe's new friends would visit. If the point was to kill us, she would have sent more men. Or the point was not to kill, but to delay. Hyoshi Springs, the attack is starting. This way. <laughs> if I fall today, Promise me, you will keep hunting Tomoe. I promise, Sensei. She knows you're my student. Your death will destroy my legacy. Your way of the bow will survive with me. Where will Tomoe strike? In the back town, near the waterfalls. The most vulnerable point. If we get there before the Mongols, we can prepare a defense. But it won't be easy. It never is. Hmm. <laughs> 
You two, come here. What is it, my lords? Mongols are heading for Hyoshi Springs. Gather everyone at the inn and stay out of sight. We will deal with them. Yes, my lords. Good sight lines over here. The Mongols won't be able to flank us. We don't have much time. What can we use to our advantage? Not many options. We'll exploit the ones we have. Hornet's nests. Excellent distraction. Dry grass. Lure the Mongols in. We'll make sure you have flaming arrows. Those barrels could do some damage. Take these flaming arrows, and try not to burn yourself or me. Then don't get in my way, Sensei. Be ready. The Mongols will be here soon. They're getting closer. Good. Let's demonstrate the way of the bow for them. They're coming downhill. Take them. One arrow, one death, says they. Got them.
For now. There she is. That's Tomoe? Burning the Nagao banner. We can catch her. Oh, she'll be long gone by the time we get there. She's a coward. No. She's mocking me. She knows the last student I trained before her was Hironori Nagao. You said he wasn't your student. Which is it? I was young, prideful, callous. Hironori learned from my example. He led a rebellion to seize the clan and lost, but only after butchering Lord Nagao's best men. Hironori didn't die fighting bandits. That was a story to protect Nagao's legacy. There was no saving mine. As his teacher, I could never be trusted again. I was granted the mercy to resign my position. I convinced myself the way of the bow had to survive. But the truth is, I am a coward who should have ended it long ago. You told Tomoe all of this. I wanted her to understand what it meant for me to teach again. But like everything else, she turned it against me. You'll never redeem Hironori Nago, and you won't change Tomoe. But today, you saved the people of Hiyoshi Springs. With my new student, I'll need you at Castle Canada. My bow is yours, but Tomoe isn't done yet. We must keep hunting her. We will, Sensei. Lord Sakai, I studied poetry with your uncle. The Mongols have taken Lord Shimura captive. Mm -hmm. He will endure. He is strong and resilient, skilled in the art of combat and poetry. Do you practice haiku, my lord? There's no time during war. War is the reason to make time. Haiku allows one to concentrate, eliminate chaos. To find peace. Precisely. My favorite place to write lies atop the cliff. It is one of many such places. If you look, you will find inspiration all across Tsushima. I hope I can find quiet places like this one, untouched by war. Look for the birds. They will show you the way. Yeah. <laughs> 